a GoPro camera mounted on my helmet. Uh, Omni, this is an Omni wing with modifications. It's got extra uh, strengthening in the leading, leading edge. And I'm going to try to do show you how I do a hard launch. So basically it's a finger on the back, thumb on the front. And got to get it straight into the wind here. Let me try it again. Plus, I'm really not supposed to be doing this motion with my arm because I've got some torn ligaments from some construction I did. Swinging a big hammer. And right back at me. Caught it. Find a way downwind. All right. This is just a regular Omni wing. This is a Omni wing with modifications. I've added some uh, strengthening struts in the uh, under the double surface there. They both have the staple for the launch hook. And I've got an advanced Omni wing. It's a little bit beat up because I've been out here. <laughs> flying it and we'll see how it does now the staple was just way too weak because I had to use a stronger rubber band to launch this big monster and so uh, I just did a quick uh, deal with the uh, uh, paper clip and uh, later I'll show you how I did that but right now I've, I've got to do a, a better method than just this quick uh, remedy to that, that I did here so let's uh, put my helmet on And with the wide angle lens, I'm hoping I'll have a better chance of catching the action. I don't have anybody nearby to hold a camera to get a, a shot of me, uh, you know, from a, a distance showing my launch. So this will be uh, handheld, handheld uh, with the camera mount on my head. <clears throat> okay, so we'll try the, uh, we got maybe one or two mile an hour of a breeze. I'm going to do all these launches uh, kind of into the wind. And uh, so I've got the Omni wing. It's been beat up pretty bad, but let's see what it does here with a, a launch. There it goes. <laughs> let's try that again. I don't know. I'll do several launch here. And hopefully get something that works pretty well. A little bit more wind. I'm going to go ahead and do a little tilt angle launch. Uh, let's see if it'll... Eh, quite a bit of wind picking up now. Let's, let's try the advanced, I mean the uh, Omni wing with some uh, mod with modifications. So this is a little bit faster, heavier flyer and try it again here a little more angle up maybe oh I got about a five mile an hour breeze picking up and it's not completing the loop let me try a little steeper up in the air and almost back at me there that was a pretty good one so it looks like it might have a right turn in it which is fine so what I like to do if it's got a right hand turn I'll do the opposite arm launch and then tilt it a little bit to the to the left and uh, counter act that sorry about the sun no! Right at me. 
<laughs> okay, so that was a vicious attack, but that's exactly what I was hoping for was the fact that it had a right wing turn. I put a little of the left turn tilting the wing for the launch, so the initial climb is uh, towards the left, and then it uh, uh, returns back to uh, its normal flight with a little bit of a right turn in it. Um, Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try a downwind launch <laughs> and see what happens because we're just launching into that wind and I can't see. Okay, launch to the moon. Here it goes. Oh, it hit my head. I'm sorry. So I had it too close to my head. Got cut my ear off. <clears throat> see if any damage. Doesn't look like any damage to the wing, so let's just try it again here. Downwind launch. Left hand. Try to miss my head. To the moon. Nice round out at the top. And it's trying to run and turn. It gets finally stabilizing some normal flight. Okay, that was pretty good. Now let's try the, the big one. This is an uh, advanced Omni wing, about three and a half uh, sheets of paper involved with uh, building this, three and a half of the eight and a half by 11 printer paper, most of the paper going into the uh, structural rolls here. Much uh, stronger rubber band, so uh, for a more powerful launch. And I still don't think this is enough. I think I still got a lot of work and testing on this. First, I'll just do a very easy launch okay <laughs> that was pretty easy looks like it wants to fly straight so let's just do a, a launch downwind very little wind blowing now and up we go no it stalled stalled in the downwind so again I, I was out doing some flying with this before camera you can see all the creases and bends trying to correct all the damage that's been done try it again here so we can get something into the wind all right that's a nice loop and about three little bobs and it's into a stable flight that was pretty good Looked like it finished up with a little bit of left hand turn, but not sure that it's truly got a left hand turn in it. We'll just do this again. It's nice to have a big front yard. Little angle on it. Oh, thought it was going to hit me. This is just not a strong enough rubber band. So uh, I think uh, to be able to get full performance, you need a stronger rubber band. And one more try here. I'm going to shoot it up a little higher, maybe. Unless these rubber bands seem kind of old, they may not have the... Uh, elastic that they really need. Okay, well that's it. I'm going to collect these wings up and see how it looks on the video.